Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return Carnivore's Fallen Kings. We're going to be changing up to the next map, the Torvus Everglades. We're going to check the Dinopedia and see everything that is possibly found on the Everglades first. So, looks like we're probably going to be taking majority of the uh, licenses there, just maybe not the medium carnivore one. And so we've got Campasaurus, Miragaya, Europasaurus, Eustreptospondylus, Oh, Sinosaurus, not Spinosaurus, my bad. Sinosaurus, uh, the, rep the Reparovenator and the Pyroraptor aren't in yet. Baryonyx is another possible one here, although it's a large carnivore here compared to a medium on Pristine. And then the Suralophus and the Beast of the Everglades, which I think are, like, boss animals, as they're calling them. Okay. And then we have their Sinian Beast. Yeah, and then we have the other two maps there. So, let's see. We want Torvus Everglades. I think we'll just take the entire loadout things possible there. Everything there should do. Double ammo. And we'll hop in and see how it goes. It sounds like there's a lot more dangers on this map, so... No, oh, actually, you know what? We should also give a read before I hop right in. <clears throat> a large open area connecting to the jungles of Tarsinian Basin, Torvus Everglades consists of clusters of small bodies of water and jungle leading to a lake where large marine reptiles reside. These swamps support a wide array of animals, resulting in this area thriving with life. An eerie cave system can be found further up north of the Everglades. Threat level, moderate to high. So we'll see what we have in store there, but I think with everything we've got and some of the options of quality of life things like... Yeah, just inbuilt resupply, because we don't have an equipment option here for it. And the manual reload is going to make this quite an interesting time out and about. And then we'll also try to make sure to stop in and see the trophy gallery as well for the end of the episode. But everything looked good, so let's head in and see what's in store for us here today. Okay, here we are so far. I think we'll start with the tactical shotgun. And I feel like the map has been updated. Or ch okay, was that just a tree falling over? Because, like, that got me good there, I'll admit. I thought it was, like, something big rushing in at us, but maybe it was just, like, one of these trees supposedly being toppled over or something. Which, I feel like the Everglades map has been redone since the last time we saw it. I mean, I think it's actually quite a bit more improved if I... Memory's not really all that sharp with it, but I... Feel like it has been done a fair bit better. Because I think it used to be that the map was a lot more, uh... Sharp and stiff with some of the angles. Like, it was hard to really just walk steadily around some spots. Although I might be thinking too far back for Fallen Kings, which was before the ME, uh, the Mars Engine Edition builds were starting to be out for it. But yeah, just that large crack of like a tree br uh, trunk or something just has me on edge now. Yeah, just another Giravenator. We've seen those before, though. Uh, wind is blowing that way, so I guess maybe instead I'll start working. Hmm. Kind of hard to say, because, like, southwest points us directly that way, so... I guess we want southeast this way to begin. Just trying to get my bearings a little bit and recenter a little for going forward. I just Finestrosaurus, so nothing to worry about so far. Now, with the Sorolophus and the Beast of the Everglades, I think... I think we actually hunted both of those on the last uh, Fallen King series that we did, like, tackling it. I remember I just got, like, a random pot shot when it came to t downing the Beast of the Everglades, although... I don't know if it's just how Carnivores usually runs, or it's... Feels like the frame rate has dipped a little bit looking out that way. I, don't, I can't say for sure. 
Nizzledactylus. Okay, you know what? Let me just work our way. I guess southeast this way. Yeah, so far the map has actually ran pretty nicely wide open. It's just not really seeing anything. Uh, hunt roster wise. I don't know if it is the case then of maybe I should try upping the density come next week or it's just luck of the draw for how it's going. Well, we'll try to cover a little bit more ground. Find some more high spots to look around and glass from and see what we can do for our approaches ahead. Hypsilodoph, or Hypsilophodon, but nothing else, eh? Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep working our way east and see. Oh yeah, it's just him we're here and tapping about. But yeah, nothing else of note yet. I'm not going to worry about finding the cave system today, because there's probably not really anything we'd find in there hunt-wise. It's one of those things that's kind of fun to check out for a little bit, but after you've seen it once, you probably had your uh, fill for it. I can't even imagine what kind of nightmare it'd be probably try to be to get things to spawn there and have the space for them to actually pathfind. I guess we'll just keep running around, see whatever happens, let it happen. Oh! Oh, do I want to try for the mortal zone on him? I like to. Ooh, there we go. Pretty sure we did get the mortal zone with that shot. And you were an 8, so they do seem to have a variety of points. So we'll send you back. And continue on our way. I was hoping for something a little new to start us off with, but... With how quick and easy that went, I will will not complain about it. I do apologize for, like, uh, if the voice sounds a little weird or... Sentences are a little more poorly put together than they usually are. Just kind of, I guess, getting a cold or something with uh, how things are going here. We went from, like, 20s, 30s for temperatures down to, like, 4 or 5. So seasons are changing a little swifter than thought. Uh, nothing really here. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the Everglades has gotten a... Bit of an overhaul. Either that, or I'm thinking of a different map that uh, Fallen Kings once had. Because I thought there was like... Or maybe it's more to the south I'm still thinking of where the Sorolophus was. But I remember there was like a basin where we had found it the one time and we took it down. I know it took a lot of ammo to put down once and for all, but... The rest of the map feels really nice. Even if we don't quite seem to be having luck finding anything on it. Yeah, I'm going to keep working my way south. I feel like that uh, body of water right below us there to the south could be the base I'm thinking of where we encountered a sore lophus that one time. Mm, 
Mm, I guess some of the tree hitboxes are a little bigger than they look. It seemed like we had a little bit of a struggle getting through there. And yeah, I'm going to head straight south there. Um, do we? Yeah, we will, just to test our aim with the pistol and using the steady breath. Yeah, it's kind of a little eerie out here. And what's even stranger to me is... Aside from, like, that one cracking tree trunk or that we heard, I've not heard that ambient sound play again in all the time where we've been roaming. So I don't know what to make of that. And is this the basin I was... It might be the basin I was thinking of, but I thought there were some runes to it. I don't really see anything out there. And just going to do a quick little cycle through the, uh... Mortal Zone chart, but it all looks about the same as it had before. Oh! Okay, there is a Saralophus down there. So it does seem like, for this map, this is a spot where it, like, does spawn regularly. Now, I don't know if it would have a mortal zone being, like, a boss. But if I were to guess, I'd put Rex Logic on here and think... I was thinking maybe if I got, like, around the eye, that would be it. Ooh! That did take him down. Although, I wonder if I bought a mortal zone, or it's just that's how powerful the Venom Rifle is. Either way, we'll hopefully snag ourselves a... Alright, let me stay above. Yeah, because I don't actually see a breath meter as we're here. Which kind of worries me about that. Normally, I think even like when we were in uh, the previous map, we had a meter to know how our breath amount was doing. Yeah, so we'll take you back. It is just a very chunky uh, hadrosaur, I believe. I wanted to say Parasaurolophus, but I think they're hadrosaurs. That's the family or... God, I am atrocious when it comes to, like, the proper detailing when it comes to, like, the names and such. The family or the genus? I'm trying to remember how that all goes. I think it's, like... Order, family, genus, species? I feel like I've completely butchered that, but there's, like... When it comes to phylogeny, there is a specific order or, like, specific breakdown of hierarchy for things. It's just been a while since I've last, like, actually gone through any biology courses or went through, like, the proper ordering of it all. But we've got that as a new addition. Oh yeah, we might as well reload that of the one we used. And we'll see if we can spot anything else while we're out and about. Fenestrosaurus again. Nesdactylus. Not, nothing else, really. I do feel like maybe I will try... No, excuse me. Try setting the density up next week. It could just be possible I'm in, like, the half of the map that things decided not to spawn on for our hunt today, but... I also feel like, though, there's been a little pattern where we could use a little bit more out and about as her on our hunts. 
course, watch, I'll say that, and then the first episode we drop back into things, I get torn apart by what's here. Oh. Okay, you know what? Maybe we won't take a shot. We'll... We'll follow up on that and see if we can take it down in a little bit. Because at least we've now sighted something else to go for. No, thankfully it didn't really go all that far, did it? So, Camptosaurus, that is, I believe... Yeah, I think that's actually, like, one of the most beginner animals. That might actually be the first one through the, uh... Oh, it's got a partner here. No, oh, I'm actually surprised it saw me from that far of a distance, because that was still, like, 300 meters away. Okay, well, if that's the case, maybe we'll... This could work out a little better for us. Maybe if I, like, try going a little bit more down... Yeah, I guess more westwards and then cut up towards them. Maybe I can try sneaking in a better shot. Because I could use the hill as a little bit of... Okay, not sure what you are. Wasn't actually expecting anything to come over the hill, so... I'm guessing maybe scent is what gave us away? What are you? I used to have New one for the trophy hall. And let's, I guess, be a little careful around here. I don't know if they'll be like a pack animal or... They are more solitary. Because as we've seen, the Camposaurus at least might like to buddy up in partners or pairs. Oh, and truth be told, those shots probably scared it off. Scared them off a little ways. And yeah, that's fully reloaded. Just want to make sure. Yeah, I might as well actually go through the full thing and double check everything is reloaded that we may have used. Okay, I think that should do. Yeah, I don't know what direction the uh, Camptosaurus might have ran. I feel like, considering where we were and we saw it up on this hill, it would have ran back into the woods more. But nothing is really popping out here yet. And I also do wonder, because the Serolophus was, like, where I thought we encountered the other time, if the boss animals of this map have, like, more set spawn points to them. Oh. oh, I think I remember the Sinosaurus. Okay, maybe I'll be ready with the tactical shotgun, just in case. Oh, jeez, you are already... Oh, crud. Oh. So it doesn't automatically reload for you. So at least we learned that. It's just that I was not prepared to swap out as quickly as I should have been. So we'll probably exit. And we're going to come back into the trophy room, where my thinking is we probably won't have any trophies from uh, the Everglades, because we did die on there. As much as you can collect the trophies, I think you still have to extract successfully alive for everything to be saved. But we've got, let's see, a... I was going to try to see if I get, like, the info about these guys, but I think those are just some Fenestrosauruses. Um... Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, maybe they... Maybe all the ambience are just, like, naturally here in the trophy hall. So those might be on another... That could be... Maybe we'll even find these guys on the Everglades. We'll see. Yeah, we got some Miragaya. Hylaeosaurus. A couple of Omdent... Or Omdenosaurus. And it doesn't look like anybody else here. But we will keep going down this way to see. Uh, oh, you're... Not sure what you are, but you're probably going to be something we'll be finding in due time. Now, I don't think those are actually what I saw in the water. Because, like, the dorsal fin looks too far forward, and I don't remember the mouth being, like, as narrow as it was on these ichthyosaurs. Oh, boy. Did not even realize the uh, Mosasaurus hanging up there, either. Or, yeah, no, see, I don't think these are what I saw out in the water. And I don't see another, like, hanging spot for anything else. So I'm kind of confused about that. Maybe those things I saw in the water can be hunted. I don't really know. But yeah, so far, not... Oh, hang on a moment, there... There is a Diceratus collected here. That's what... I think that's what we uh, collected the trophy of from, like, the first episode. But we didn't actually see it in the map itself. Yeah, that's... It is exactly that. So I don't know what was going on with you. But again, it's still work in progress, so there are going to be bugs and things, but... Oh, and then... Did that just appear, too? I... I don't know if I remember that being right beside these before. Is stuff just loading in as I'm here longer? I don't know. But yeah, this was our first week of checking back in on Carnivore's Fallen Kings with... Or Fallen Kings with the latest... Oh, even a little crap back there. I guess that's what they were talking about, the crustacean you could find. This is our first back with Carnivore's Fallen Kings with the latest MEE build. The reloads and the steady breath options are just really great to have. Being able to select... If you want to truly take a trophy back or just leave it for finding something else is nice. It's just fantastic additions to see it brought back to an old game with its engine like Carnivores. So we're going to keep going for at least another week, maybe two, depending on how long it takes us to go through the maps. But overall, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and hopefully you'll like more down the way. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure in the comments right down below. And until I see you all in the next video episode, Survivors, please remember, as always... To take care and stay alive.